Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to day 23 of Veda Gaming 2018, and today we're looking at Darkest Dungeon. This is one heck of a game. It combines RPG elements with tactical decision making and quite a bit of RNG to be quite honest. And naturally I'm a little bit of a fan of that. So before we actually start the game, we're going to replay this intro cinematic, just to give you guys some context on the storyline. So here we go. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. every step unsettled the ancient earth but we were in a realm of death and madness in the end i alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity until consciousness failed me you remember our venerable house opulent and imperial it is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. So yeah, that's one heck of an intro. Love the art style. Holy crap, I have a save file still. That is. But. We're gonna delete that, because that is not accurate. Let's see, okay, yep, we'll do darkest. I guess that explains why the file was named that. Here we go. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. There we go. All right, so we got some navigation. As you can see, we have our two dudes here. We have Dismas the Highwayman, and we have 
Regwald the Crusader. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually change your hero's names. So, we have a Crusader, so I think this one is obvious. It's actually one thing I love about games like this, is you get to rename your dudes, so you can name them after, say, your friends, or like, fellow YouTubers. In this case, I'm actually going to rename Dismas to our good buddy Alzarath, as he named a crusader after me when he played this game many, well, not many years ago, but back when it was still in early access. Okay, that did not take. Let's try that again. Boom. Now, hopefully this turns out better than uh, my cameo in his series. All right, so there's nothing really to do here. We can click on the map to... have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. ...to advance to the next room. And we can explore. Sometimes there's stuff to interact with. Battles will occur. Alright, yep. Alright, Al, what can you do? Alright, you have a ranged attack. We'll have you do that. Hit him for five damage. And you got a good debuff on him, good stuff. Let's go with the stunning blade. Nope, we got the stun, so he's not going to get the act. Alright, good stuff. Brings Al back up. And there's the kill. And we received some food. No, we received some gold. We already had the food. It has been a while since I've actually dabbled with this game. It's one of those games where I was super hyped for it when it was in early access, bought it, and then just kind of forgot I had it. Despite enjoying it. Check inside, and we find... Finding the stuff is only loot. the first test. Now it must be carried home. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Did I miss something? Ah, there it is. I have to press up. Oh, okay, we got a big dude this time. Vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Let's do the grape shot blast, which will hit both of them. Now let's have you go for the stunning strike. See if we can keep the big dude from acting. He resisted it, so unfortunately that's not going to be the case. Alright, and he's just going to keep assaulting us like that. Okay, you keep up the grape shot blast. Keep pressure on both of them. And I can actually do the same thing with... Okay, no, I guess I can. It won't pass through the big dude. Alright, good dodge. Good dodge. Alright, you can't get to him. Yeah. So, keep grape shotting. Alright, he's just repeatedly using blanket fire. Let's just go for a big hit on him. Alright, good. Got him for six. Alright, go for the grape shot. Alright, little guy's down. And we have the corpses mechanic. Which just kind of takes up a slot. Not too big of an issue in this circumstance as... The guy we're attacking is already in the front. Dissuade the sharpened blade. 
All right, we got some crests, we got some gold, and we got some citrine. And we have completed that quest. And we will return to Hamlet. Alright, what do we get? There's everything we collected. That's all well and good. Alright, we got a debuff, which gives us 3% crit range... Or minus 3% crit on range skills. We've also got minus 20% armor upgrade cost, so we can upgrade my armor very well, very cheaply. See if Owls is lucky. Deadly, plus 1% crit. Oh, and he didn't get a negative. Alright, so that worked out pretty well. Return to town. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. All right, so here we have our quest goals. These are things we're setting out to accomplish throughout the playthrough. You can see there are a lot of them, and I don't have the DLC, so I guarantee there's way more once I get around to picking that up. All right, so so here's our town, uh, we have the Nomad Wagon, which we can't really do anything with yet, we have the Stagecoach, where we could recruit and men, travelers, and outlaws, fools and corpses. all will find their way to us now that the road is clear. All right, we'll pick up this witch doctor, or plague doctor. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? We'll also pick up the Vestal. So that we have a full party of four. Hmm. Let's look at their skills here. Okay, so he prefers to be in the third or fourth spot, which he's going to be. Doesn't look like he has any real preferred targets. As you can see, they do know different abilities and they can unlock the others as we progress. See, he has Ruins Explorer. 20% scouting chance in Ruins. Not bad. And he has a Reduced crit chance with melee skills. Alright, what about her? Okay, she has 30% weapon upgrade cost. That's good. She has plus 2 speed if torch is above 75. That's not bad. And she has calm. She takes 15% less damage on the first round. I mean, why does that look like a debuff? Is that... Hmm. Does that mean she deals 15% less or she takes 15% less? I don't see how being calm is a debuff. Either way, she has... A healing ability. She has two healing abilities. Okay, she has this one which does damage and heals herself. And she has this one that can heal other people. Alright. Alright. Good stuff. He also has Illumination. Which debuffs a target and makes it harder for them to dodge. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff to this. There's a lot going on here. We can rearrange our order. I don't think we need to at the moment. Okay, we don't have anything in our inventory. All right. So we've got that. And we have all these different 
places that we don't have unlocked yet. These will unlock as we progress, obviously. Where we can upgrade things, recruit more people, potentially find more stuff. Anyway, let's embark. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. Alright, so we're gonna start. Well, I guess we're gonna start in the ruins, is that's basically the only place we can. Okay, drop you two into the party. Okay, let's buy provisions. The cost of preparedness measured now in gold, later in blood. Now, this is a pretty simple mission, so we shouldn't need a whole lot. Just get some food, a couple torches, and we should be golden. I will grab a shovel, just in case. All right, so here we go. We got a fairly expansive little first dungeon here. Let's go ahead and progress to the next room. As you can see, everyone has a health bar and this secondary bar underneath it is a sanity meter. Oh, there's that. And the higher that is, the kind of crazier things get. And we found a free torch. All right, we got a, got our first encounter here. All right, Mr. Plague Doctor, hit him up. All right, we got him with Blight. You focus on doing Grape Shot, just keep that damage spread out. Gonna have you. Okay, you can't do illumination. And eh, nobody really needs healed right now, so I guess just have you do judgment and try to kill that one. Good job. A faint hope blossoms. Alright, I want you to go for the stunning strike. Alright, got the stun. Hit it with the judgment. Give them no quarter. Good work. We got through that without taking any damage at all. At least promises success. So we'll take the gold. Kind of loot the chest, and we got a handsome reward. My shovel, a, a bandage, well and some citrine. Working out in my favor here. Oh, and we got some scouting. Alright, let's travel to the next room. Aha! Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. See, we could have removed that without the shovel, but we risk taking damage. Having the shovel let us remove it without any penalty whatsoever. Alright, but now we got these guys to deal with. Alright. Do a plague grenade. Crit for one. Not sure that qualifies really as a crit, but it reduced everybody's, uh, Sanity meter, which is good. Alright, you just keep up the grape shotting. Alright, can you keep your kill streak alive with judgment? Yeah, you can. Maintain the offensive. There you go, you be a tank. Soak up that damage. Now that was pretty hefty damage. All right, I want you to use this and should be able to hit both of them with it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. All right, good work. Killed one, weakened the other severely. Go for the finish. The onslaught. Destroy them all. all right, we got a key and some more gold. All right, good stuff. Let's go ahead and refresh our torch. And we'll go this way. Uh, people freaking out a little bit. 
glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. All right, found some more stuff. Good, good. Can't complain. Hello, friends. Oh, they jumbled our order. Okay, that is not good at all. All right, you can still grape shot from there. That's fine. Uh, you reverse order with... Hmm. No, I don't like this at all. Uh, do a disorienting mist. Singular strike. Okay, we screwed with their order. Turnabout's fair play. Death oh, he took a crit. That's not good. Oh, and there's not a whole lot you can do right here. Uh, you can do illumination. You can also do hand of light. Go for it. Alright, good dodge. Yeah, there is nothing you can do from the back. You just have to slowly work your way forward. Alright. Uh, hit him with another hand of light, I guess. Oh, it missed. Alright. Solid one damage, but you got the blight. Uh, you can't grape shot from here, but you can take a pistol shot. Oh, good hit. Good hit. We got Alzer out here coming in clutch. Okay, please stop attacking my cleric. Or whatever her blast is called. Just keep working my way back up here. Uh, take another pistol shot. Alright, now you move back. And you will go there. Well struck. Alright, we're recovering here. Got some sanity. Alright, I need to heal him. Alright, well, we got through that. These nightmarish creatures here we got some food, some gold, some citrine. Hey, we need to reorder the party. I'm going to get back in your assigned place. Let's eat a little food. Especially you, holy crap. All right. Sure, this can only end well. Oh, all right then, it was a heal. Very nice. It definitely worked out in my favor. All right, let's go up here. Oh, that's not good. Traps lie in wait, unsprung and thirsting for blood. Gotta hate those traps. Selected destination, sure. Guess we'll head over because we're we have an endpoint. Have you developed kleptomania? You picked up a lot of stuff from somewhere. Yeah, well, that explains a lot. Now, you can cure off some of those debuffs back in town by putting them through various things. Yes, eat. Should be fine. We're almost done with this dungeon. Alright, last room. Go for it. I just gotta get through this hallway. Aha! Sure is a good thing I have a second shovel. Well, that just paid off. Okay, we have a lot of friends. Alright. 
go for. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Get both of those two. You do your thing with the grape shot. Just keep the pressure up. Alright, you can use your thing here to hit those two. That one's done. Heal him. Oh, good crit. Got extra healing. Always nice. Right, keep up the grape shot. See, that corpse is actually becoming an issue now as it's soaking up some of the damage there. Yep, you keep up your pressure on those two. Alright, so this is the death's door mechanic. When a character hits low HP, they don't necessarily die immediately, but they're put into that state, which means they have a chance to be killed anytime they take damage. So essentially, as long as you keep a character above like one health, they're generally fine. And you're just kind of minimizing your damage. All right, the blight got him, and there's no corpse. Go with the grape shot. Got them both. Oh, and we got another shovel. As victories mount, so too will resistance. All kinds of gems, and we have completed the quest. All right, so how are the results? Yeah, we found a lot of stuff. Made a good amount of cash. What did you get? Oh, you lost HP. You got a negative. That's not good. The degeneracy of the Hamlet is nothing, I fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. All right, so now that we're back in town, we can check the stagecoach again. We have a leper, which is another frontline melee class, I believe. We have another plague doctor who may have to replace this guy. Anyway, you can keep a big roster. There's a lot more uh, classes available than what I've shown so far. that adversity and existence are one and the same. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms. And this is the, to the weary and tavern where we can try to restore sanity. Like, yeah, she needs sanity. So we can just, like, put her at the bar, go for it, and that'll help her chill out. And, yeah, uh, we still haven't unlocked a lot of this stuff. We need to complete more missions. But anyway, that's a good quick look at Darkest Dungeon. If you enjoyed this game, let me know and we will play some more. I believe Alzarath has already lived longer than I did in his game. So, maybe we'll see how long his luck lasts. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.